I woke up this morning and I had an email from the development team over at On One, and this is what they're fixing in On One Photo Raw 2023. I'm not sure when this is going to be released, but this is something I just wanted to share with the community because I know that I gave On One a hard time, and one of the things that I asked for during my last live stream comparing the AI versus the uh, Lightroom Classic AI is we should get the original Quick Mass tool. And the very first thing that they're headlining here in the what's new is the original quick mass tool. Now, there are a few more things with the heads up display, but I really just wanted to show that, you know, we got the AI quick mass tool back and what that looks like inside of on one. So when you get the uh, update, if that's something that you want, you should update to the new version. So that way you can have that tool. Now, there are some other issues that this fix, so please pause the video if you want to read through that. Uh, but there's also a video card requirements announcement here. If you're having issues with video cards and challenges of that sort, uh, read through this message and see if this applies to you because I know that I've gotten a few comments where people are saying uh, that on one just doesn't work right for color renditions and stuff like that. Uh, you, you may have some video card challenges and this could be helpful for you. I'm not entirely sure, but definitely check this out and see if this solves your problem. Uh, and if it doesn't, then please just contact on one and they'll uh, be able to better direct you than I ever would. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw, and I'm just gonna open up any image here. I'll open up this one and hit edit. Now, if you caught my live stream, you know that I was a little disappointed that we got rid of the AI quick mask tool. So I'm glad that they brought it back. I haven't used the new version or the version that they have placed into here, uh, but let's take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the B key, grab the brush tool. And now up at the top here, we have two options. We have the AI, which this looks like uh, the super select version, which works well on this particular image. But we also have one that says OG. Um, and this is the original, uh, I like that OG. Or I think that's an OG, it's really small. But now instead of the AI algorithm making it choose whatever uh, you want it to be. I can hit shift X and this works just like the normal one. So if I only want it this area down here, now I'm painting and I'm telling on one, I want that. And then I don't want this area up here. So hopefully it works pretty good. And then you just hit apply and it should create the mask. Now, my hope is this gets better and it, or at least it works better than it did previously, which it looks like it works the same, but I'm okay with that because this type of mask was good enough that you can get the mask in and then create whatever you needed to around it. So it's good to see that that is back inside of on one. So if I hit done, uh, this should just cut out the sky because I'm on the actual layer mask and then it brings you back into the refine tool and you can click double click on that and do all your refinements and stuff like that. If you found value in the content, go ahead and smash the like button. If there's someone that you know needs to see this, share it with them. And if you want to meet me over on Vero, you can do so at free will photos. And if you want to pick up a copy of on one photo raw 2023, then use the coupon code free will photos 20 to save 20% at checkout. And until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating peace.